Hi everybody, my name is Roy Bandari and today we are joined by Lee Kutsaris and Amanda Milbon Island, the, uh, the VP in Sales and Marketing of Capital Developments and Metropia. Uh, and today we're here to introduce a very, very, very special project, a uh, very special address, uh, and that's 11 YV condos at 11 Yorkville. So thank you very, very much for uh, taking the time to speak to us and, and helping us learn more about this address. Um, so obviously we're going to talk a lot about 11 Yorkville. Um, but before uh, we, we sp speak specifically about the building, um, one of the most important pieces of the investment puzzle today is the developer. Mm -hmm. I would say when you look at the development team of 11 Yorkville, it is an all-star team. Like if you, NBA all-star, this is the condo all-star team of, of development. You've got uh, Rio Can, um, you've got Metropia, and you've got Capital Development. So I want you guys to tell us a little bit about, let's start with Rio Can because they're not in the room. Uh, yeah. So tell us a little bit about Rio Can and for anybody who may not be aware of who Rio Can are. Absolutely. Uh, Rio Can is the third largest REIT in North America, the largest REIT in Canada, yeah. and is run by Edward Sunshine. So the preeminent um, visionary as it comes to retail in Toronto, or in Canada really as a whole. We will have over 40,000 square foot of retail in this building that will be owned and operated by Rio Can Living. Um, and that's one of the the highlighting features of this project. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about uh, why don't you carry on with capital developments and uh, how you get, came into the market and uh, what you've done over the last few years because you've had a very, very impressive run over the last few years. Absolutely. Capital developments, we have over $5 billion of projects under development currently. We've done 15 towers that we have under development. Uh, our found co-founders, uh, Jordan Dermer and Todd Cowan, yep. got their start in Central Europe and in the early 90s or late 90s and 2000s and then exited uh, Europe and came back to Toronto about 10 years ago to invest in AAA transit-oriented yep. developments in Toronto. And we've partnered with Metropia and Rio Can Living um, on uh, e E2 condos. Yep. I was going to mention that. Bloor and Dufferin, and now on 11 Yorkville. And we're so excited about the, the partnership because we have such like-minded development ethos with our focus on integrity, our focus on trust and relationships, with a really, really strong focus on customer care. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Metropia, um, been in the business for decades. Mm -hmm. um, so give us a rundown of, of Metropia. So Howard Sokolowski is the founder of Metropia, and um, I guess he's most well known for when he started Tribute Communities. Yep. So he built over 30,000 homes while he was there, and 10 years ago he started Metropia, um, and since then he's built a portfolio of about 18 projects, where he's had his towers at Young and Shepherd completed, uh, Young and Eglinton E Condos is now completed. Yep. Um, he's completed. We invested in E Condos. We own a couple of units there. So. Oh, so you, and you've seen the level of construction and yeah. the amenities Excellent. at Pool Deck, the Incredible. lobby, the lo it's stunning. Yeah. We're just so happy with how that all turned out. Um, so yeah, he's just, we, we have lots of exciting sites in the like pipeline to come. And again, Howard's big thing is um, his integrity comes from the quality construction. Um, our, our customers are always happy with Metropia. He wants them to be able to feel that when they call someone, they're going to get an answer and there's yep. always somebody to call for anything. It's great to hear. And, and we always hammer on who the developer is. And uh, in today's climate, we know that's more important than ever. You, you touched on the integrity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when you've got builders walking away from sites, it's very, very important that you're working with builders who are committed to, to what, delivering what they say they deliver. Yep. Very and, important. Yeah, and I say when Real Cam and Tropian Capital Developments have put their name behind a project and they're supporting that project, um, an example of the integrity the three companies have is the site is now zoned and approved and Excellent. ready to go. Amazing. So they made a corporate... You said that very quickly and glossed over it, but... Uh, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah we are, we'll say that again just so you catch it. We're 100% yeah. zoned and approved on this Amazing. site, which yeah. eliminates risk for both you and your clients Excellent. as yeah. you're purchasing because this is a this is a high level, high price tag of investment mm -hmm. and we don't want to have a, a blighted project on our, our track records. We really believe we're going to build anything that we come out with. Amazing. Exactly. So. Uh, I want to switch gears now and talk about, uh, before we talk about Yorkville and, and, and the, uh, the amazing address, I, I do want to talk about Toronto a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Toronto is going through this incredible, incredible run of growth. Um, the development level is, is increasing every year. Uh, the demand to come into Toronto is increasing every year. Um, a couple of days ago, we had a chance to sit down with Edward Sunshine of, of Rio Can and, and Jordan and Todd and, and Howard, and, and they said a few things that, um, that really stuck in my mind about what's happening in Toronto. Um, give us a quick overview from your side of the table on, on what's, what's happening in Toronto and what makes it so special and, and why we think that's, we believe that to be happening 
going forward. For sure, there's such strong market fundamentals with, uh, if you look at our immigration, we have 100, between 120 to 150,000 people coming yeah. to Toronto every year. So that's an, that creates a demand for about 40,000 new housing units a year that has happened for the last 20 years and will continue for the next. You layer on top of that our booming tech sector, and Toronto is one of the most attractive places for new technology and new companies to invest in. Yep. We actually have a shortage of office space in the downtown core, mm -hmm. and over a million square feet of office space under construction that's already pre-leased. Yeah, which is um, unbelievable. That's that's unprecedented in North yeah. America. There's no other North American market that has those strong fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the, again, I just want to just highlight a couple of things that really stood out to me from what, what Ed was talking about. And um, he talked about one of his big sites down on Front Street. The well. The well. And um, the, the building that's being developed there, it, it's already 80% pre-leased. And, and what he said that was so interesting was that they're leased to companies that didn't exist six years ago. Yeah. Right. That really stuck in my mind. And, and it's just highlighting the, the growth of this tech boom. And, awesome. and the, the other thing is that these companies, they can pick and uh, go into any anyway. city they want. Uh, we've said we've said I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. Um, in, in over the last 12, 18 months, Toronto added more tech jobs than the next four cities combined in North America. That's that's mm -hmm. and these are big cities. These are New York, San Francisco, um, Washington, and Denver. I believe are the four. I think um, the one thing that sets us apart from those markets is that we're Canadian, and yes. Canada is becoming increasingly attractive on the international scale. We are safe. Yeah. We are not the U.S. We are still very undervalued on a world level. And especially if you compare luxury prices in Toronto to luxury prices all around the world, we are thousands of dollars per square foot below yeah. some of those high, high-end markets that are you know, Hong Kong, Shanghai, um, Singapore, London. We are, we are not even close to the stratosphere on price uh, that they have. And I think one of the, uh, one, I'm gonna touch on one more thing and then we're gonna move on. Um, and that's that um, there is a scarcity of land in Toronto. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got the green belt to the north and you've got the lake to the south. Um, there is that scarcity. and. The reason we keep highlighting these tech jobs is that with tech jobs come uh, skilled workers and with skilled workers come high salaries and with yes. high salaries come disposable income and all the layers that, that we yeah want and that this is where we're headed and and we we keep hammering on this fact because you know th there is that progression and we're living through the progression right now yeah um, and this is the time to to really get into this marketplace because i think it's uh, it's a really unique time that we're we're sort of living through it's so. a unique time and it's also a unique address because yes. if you look at yorkville specifically we're sort of at the the forefront and we're the convergence of these these high-end tech jobs as well as disposable income the average dispo uh, household income in yorkville is two hundred twenty thousand. Yeah dollars compared to average disposable income in Toronto between 50 and 120,000 so these are affluent individuals they yeah. are a lot of them are double income no kids a little bit older demographic um, and people have disposable income and they're they're living a, a very um, luxurious lifestyle and we're trying to deliver a product that will deliver very efficient and diverse range of product that will help match that lifestyle for sure so let's talk about Yorkville um, Yorkville is the a preeminent location uh, neighborhood in mm -hmm. in Toronto um, it's where two major uh, subway lines intersect Young and Bloor mm -hmm. um, it is where you will find the best hotels where you'll find the best restaurants where mm -hmm. you'll find the best shopping obviously you've got Bloor Street you've got Mink Mile uh, you've got all the best brands that are known globally um, help me out here you probably know them better than I do <laughs> yeah. um, but you know th and th this neighborhood is uh, only getting better right well, so. I think the big thing is on, let's say someone was moving here from New York yeah. and you took a map of the city of Toronto and you were to circle where the transit hub of Toronto is, where the uh, Bloor Line and Young Line meet, yeah. you're circling Yorkville. If you're circling where the best hospitals are, the yeah. best private schools are, the best shopping is, to your point, the best yeah. restaurants, the best cultural facilities, yeah. um, the best university, University of Toronto, um, our government building, our court systems. Yeah. So everything is within a radius from Yorkville. So I don't. I think there's a reason Yorkville is so famous. I think there's a reason Yorkville's address has come to where it's be, and that's because the best of the best of Toronto is within a short distance of it. So, and because of that, you get this residential high-rise neighborhood now has mm -hmm. become of luxury, from the Four Seasons yeah. to um, high-end other high-end hotel living, the Windsor Arms, yeah. uh, One St. Thomas, and this is all hovering around this little small proximity of this very exclusive now high-rise community that just has this lifestyle to it that is catering to where Toronto's moving to, which is people are choosing to live in high-rise living. Yes, I, 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 so one of the other things that I wanted to sort of highlight about Yorkville that we see from our side of the table on the sales side is that um, it is, uh, there's almost no product on the pre-construction side. Right. Like if you want to buy a condo in Yorkville today, a new condo in Yorkville, 
uh, the price of entry is probably close to $2 million right now. That's, mm -hmm. um, that's the, probably the cheapest unit you can buy today mm -hmm. um, in Yorkville proper. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, a lot of the reasons for that is because when towers like 11YV come up um, with the, the cheaper price points, they get gobbled up very, very, very quickly. There's, a, there's definitely a demand for this kind of product. Mm -hmm. um, so that scarcity of availability is, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing I wanted to now focus on is the address itself, 11 Yorkville. So it is on Yorkville Avenue. Yes. We're um, directly across from the Four Seasons Hotel. Opposite the Four Seasons. We are going to be adding, also we're going to be a, a tower in, the, in, the, in a park. We're adding a 14 yep. meter park to the site mm -hmm. that did not exist before. So that Amazing. is valuable green space that we are going to be surrounded by on all sides. Um, that's really going to make and ground this building in Yorkville in this address in a really, really special way. Interesting. So the other thing I wanted to highlight about Yorkville Avenue is that um, as you look forward, there's not an awful lot of space available to do more towers. No, there's no more sites. This is the last site with this the Yorkville address. Yeah. And so about four years ago, back in 2014, Howard started assembling the site. The site was um, assembled over years. It took from 2014, I want to say, till I think 2017 to get the last piece. So um, the owner saw where Yorkville was going and they saw that there was a scarcity and an opportunity mm -hmm. and they took advantage of it and spent countless years assembling these sites and putting this amazing condominium together using the expertise of the three companies and I, it's zoned and approved and to your point between Bay and Young now this will be the last Yorkville address that can be approved amazing and then between Avenue to Bay as you know it's a heritage yep. so as long as that heritage policy stays in place there won't be any development happening along Yorkville so you could argue it's the last site that will have a Yorkville address which is amazing, yes. amazing opportunity. It's amazing. Excellent. So I want to speak specifically about the condominium now. Mm -hmm. um, you already sort of alluded to the fact that it's going to have uh, 40,000 square foot of retail. On um, two floors. On two floors. Yes. Uh, yes. It's going to be a 62 story, uh, story condominium. Give us yes. sort of the uh, bird's eye view of, of Sure. You know what, if we, we can go uh, bottom to top sure. if you want. That um, so we have uh, two stories of retail on the ground floor. Um, which will include high-end boutiques, luxury yep. retail. We can't speak to specific brands just due to our time. We will also be targeting a restaurant, uh, long-term holding with a high-end restaurant on two floors with Mez Level. And again, you did allude to this earlier, but having Rio Can as a partner on this yeah. is... They will like putting rocket the fuel on the, on, on the retail. This is, going, this is not going to be your Dollarama, your nail salon, your dry cleaner retail. This is going to be triple A Yorkville level retail. Amazing. Uh, that will be long term owned and operated by Rio Can Living. And that's important. And then we find that time and time again, buildings with high quality retail always outperform mm -hmm. buildings with not so they're high quality They're attracting retail. better tenants. They have yeah. their, their gives it legs to the building for sure. And, and it an animates the... Uh, further animates Yorkville Avenue. And, that, and also because in a sense when you're when you live in a condominium and where the frontage is retail, mm -hmm. in a sense that retail is your billboard for where you live and yeah. it states where you live. So to have a high-end retailer at your front door elevates your home experience and mm -hmm. where you live in the sense of pride and bringing someone sure. there and going home every day. And we're Absolutely. very conscientious of that. So we'll make sure your welcome home every day fits with the lifestyle of Yorkville on what that should be. Amazing. Yeah. We have uh, two levels of amenity floors. Um, we will have in our lobby, we're gonna have a double height uh, lobby with 24 hour concierge. And I just day, saw the rendering of the lobby. And yeah, a day porter service. Stunning. So the day porter service will is an enhanced level of luxury that doesn't add a lot to your maintenance fees, but gives a level of luxury and convenience. So if you're out shopping and you bring in your groceries or your, uh, mm -hmm. your boutique bags, and the day porter can run that up. You just drop it off in the lobby and the day porter can run it up to your suite, put it in your fridge, put it away, and that Amazing. way your hands are free to go off and continue your day. Um, two levels of amenity space on the third and fourth floor. The third floor includes um, an outdoor terrace that is um, fully landscaped with barbecues and planters featuring a 25 meter indoor outdoor swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Indoor outdoor. Indoor outdoor. outdoor infinity swimming pool. Yes. Amazing. Infinity so swimming pool. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a huge investment from yeah, the builders absolutely. to make an absolutely. amenity. That wasn't that, that, that's above and beyond, again, speaking to the caliber of the building. It's mm -hmm. unique. Other people are not offering that in their sales program right now. And it speaks to the lifestyle of Yorkville and being able to relax after home and enjoy 
a, a pool 12 months a year yeah. outside looking to a view of downtown. So it, it speaks to what this building needs to offer because luxury goes beyond just having beautiful finishes. It's For a sure, luxurious lifestyle. So, And we've really tried to pack our program with thoughtful amenities that are going to cater to the, the residents of this building, both mm -hmm. investors and end users alike. So we have an incredible party room and piano lounge with wine tasting facilities. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful full service gym with yoga and separate facilities for weights and cardio. Uh, we have a co-working space that's built out like a high-end business center, like a WeWork or uh, industry leaders. So We're that seeing that become a very, very important amenity. You know, yes. as we see the way that people work and live change yeah. and the fusion between the 24-hour city and the fact that everyone's day looks different, yeah. creating those spaces, especially in a shared building like a condominium, mm -hmm. are so important to make sure that residents can live and work in the way that they choose. Yeah. Because everybody for and sure. how that looks changes. Absolutely. Um, we're also catering to um, a very robust uh, program in that we will have a children's room, a theater room, um, ch saunas, change rooms, a wet amenity. So a really, really ro robust program as well as an indoor zen garden. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we're creating uh, animated spaces as well as calm spaces. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, so the amenities are incredible. Uh, talk to me about the residential suites themselves. Absolutely. The first residential floor starts on five, and the first five, mm -hmm. five floors from five to nine are luxury rental, and then the first residential condominium begins on floor 10. Excellent. Um, we have our crew collection of suites from floors 10 to 39. Okay. Our premier crew collection from 40 to 54, and our grand crew from 55 and above. Excellent. So there's three unique there's collections. There's three yes. unique collections of suites. And there's a few differences between those suite collections. The, the biggest difference being the ceiling height. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, we have nine foot ceilings, nine foot six ceilings, and then 10 foot ceilings on the top eight floors. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, there are three floors of terraces. Mm -hmm. Um, very unique opportunities. Most of That's our suites, where the, where the, sort where of the building, building cuts back. Jets in. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll be offering five Miele appliances, uh, as well as a wine fridge in our beverage uh, island. As standard. Yeah, as standard. Yes. Excellent. And that ties back to, uh, we have the crew residences and crew sp inspired amenities. So uh, the idea was, again, the, uh, Yorkville has this entertainment aspect to it yeah. and liking to enjoy the finer things in life. So when we were designing the suites, we thought it was important to bring in that enjoying, entertaining, yep. relaxing, to put a wine fridge in. We're also doing a stemware um, shelf system into the oh, island. Yeah. And then into the uh, island, we're also doing like an entertainment beverage center. So the idea is, to, again, to host, relax, have friends over. And the overall theme of the amenities and color palette, when you look through them, they have like deep burgundies, we're using velvets, right. we're using warm sultry. And then we also played off of, and you'll see in the sales office, because we are building a spectacular sales office, and we added a crystal element into our nice. fe features and finishes. So you'll see crystal light chandeliers in the wine room. I know other people doing wine rooms. This wine room has an elevated feel to it. And it has, again, these crystal chandeliers that play to um, this tie back to richness of the crew and grand crew. So when you visit Excellent. our sales office, we're actually going to have the crystal chandelier yes. that's been specially fabricated for the project. Excellent. So it will live in the sales office and then be stored and reconstructed in our amenity spaces and our lobby. Yes. Um, and this is a custom design art piece that's 411 Yorkville. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I do have to ask you, uh, you said the word crew a lot. Yes. Um, can you explain to us where, what that ties back into? So crew is a high-end designation for the most uh, high-end wines. Excellent. And okay. it lives in crew, Premier Crew and Grand Cru are the two designations for very high wines that come from the Burgundy region in France. Okay. Um, and it really represents the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So crew is, we believe that 11YV has the best of the best and we've tried to design a suite program that's going to deliver the best of the best of our total offering to your clients. Mm -hmm. I mean, our suite sizes range from 400 to yep. just over 1,100 square feet. Okay. So um, in the traditional program that runs all the way to the top of the building, and then we will have some combination suites available at, the, at the top in the 1,400 to 1,700 square foot range. Mm -hmm. But again, we're offering very, very efficient plans yep. in this diverse range so that we're, there's going to be something for everyone and your, for your clients. Well, you do see that the building has a very square feel to it, which, often, yeah. which leads to Absolutely. very efficient and excellent floor plans. So. And I'll add two more other things about the suites that are interesting. One, what we tried to do within the one bedroom um, area is we definitely tried to offer varying sizes of one bedrooms. So okay. we tried to do the smaller one bedroom, but we also have a larger one bedroom that a professional couple yep. wants a self-facing view that they're going to be able to buy and enjoy. And then our corner units have double corners, whereby oh, it is neat. Yeah. Because we had the, how we did the inside of the balcony. So if you're in your master bedroom, you'll have the view of the CN Tower in that corner and then your balcony. And then when you're in your living room, you'll also have the same view. Amazing. So it's a unique opportunity to enjoy the view from two different rooms in a building. Yeah. Excellent. So we talked about 
I'm just going back to the beginning. We talked about um, the all-star development team of Rio Can Capital Developments and Metropia. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about Yorkville, the number one, undisputed number one neighborhood in the city. Yes. Uh, a very unique address that mm -hmm. w with Yorkville Avenue, you, you probably won't be able to ever get it, get ever again. This is the last opportunity to get a Yorkville Avenue address. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the building itself and 40,000 square foot of uh, retail managed, uh, sorry, uh, at least by Rio Can. Yes. Um, we've got amazing uh, lobby and amenities, mm -hmm. uh, excellent sweet suites, mm -hmm. um, excellent finishes that really speak to this, this level of buyer uh, and sophistication. Mm -hmm. um, what did I miss? Our, uh, our park. Yeah. Oh we yeah, have a the 14 year park, park. Yep. designed by Janet Rosenberg and Associates is going to be adding some much needed green space to this environment. Amazing. Uh, and being grounded there, really being and being surrounded on all sides, this is going to become an iconic address in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We're, we're excited. Um, I know a lot of our investors are excited about this address. Um, if our investors are interested in buying a unit at 11 Yorkville, uh, what do they have to do? Uh, the best thing to do is to stay in touch with you and uh, we will be... Uh, September 12th. Pardon? September 12th? September 12th is our launch event. <laughs> September 12th. So September 12th is when the floor plans and the prices when will be released. When the floor plans and, and prices are going to be available. So yes. they should mark their date in the calendar, get in touch with you on that date, and yeah. hopefully uh, make, their, make themselves available uh, 10 days to two weeks later to Amazing. come in and sign up, uh, sign up at 11 Yorkville. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate Thank your you. time. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you.